this video, I'm going to break down my signature productivity framework called the Productivity Master System, which contains three simple elements. And this is going to change the game for you. And full disclaimer, I usually only teach this in my super advanced training course called the Productivity Master System, which I usually sell for over a thousand bucks. So what I'd recommend is that you get a notepad and take some notes, journal about this, brainstorm about this. This is literally your game plan to improving your productivity. So let's jump right in. The first part, the first productivity empire is mindset. And mindset is so crucially important. I mean, you hear about mindset all the time and people think it's the most important thing ever. And it is super important. And it comes to the productivity equation, it's 33%. So let's talk about how do you dial in your productivity mindset. Now, full disclaimer, this is just in regards to productivity. I mean, when we talk about mindset, we could talk about hundreds of things but I broke it down into four components to your productivity mindset. The first one is your motivation. If you're not motivated to do anything, you won't do it. You won't be productive. You will procrastinate, put it off, and it's going to hunt you later down the road. So we need to learn, how do I stay motivated? How do I stay motivated to do the things necessary? To do the things that are hard today, but are going to pay me back months and years down the road. This is not easy. So we need to be motivated. We need to be disciplined. I mean, motivation gets you started. Discipline keeps you going. So this is crucial because if you want to get results, you need to finish things. You don't just need to start them but you need to finish your projects. You need to finish those tasks that need to get done because if you don't finish them, if you just do them half-heartedly, nothing great will happen in your life. The great performers, they are excellent at finishing and they don't get stuck in perfectionism. They finish things because they see that this is as good as it can be and then they focus on the net next thing and making that better. So this is huge. Thirdly, we need to talk about focus. We live in a distracted world. We live in a world where the average person consumes almost seven hours of content a day. Seven hours of content a day. That is crazy. So we live in a distracted world. Most people, when you look at how they work, they have their phone nearby. They are constantly checking their phone. And if you're checking your phone, you're not going to be productive. So we need to foster this ability to stay focused, to stay disciplined, to stay concentrated on the things that matter for extended periods of time. The average person now is interrupted dozens of times within an hour. They're coming messages, other people, social media, and people distract themselves so much. So that's our advantage. I mean, you learn about productivity for a reason. This is your game plan. This is your roadmap. And I'm here to tell you, we need to train our ability to stay focused. I mean, there's this famous study that has been done, I think, by Microsoft. And they found that the average person has now a shorter attention span than a goldfish, which is insane. It's like eight seconds. So we live in this distracted world where your ability to stay focused, to stay concentrated is a game changer. It makes you stand out. It makes you exceptional because most people are incapable to do it. So this is huge. And then the fourth key component of the productivity mindset is confidence. And you not, might think, well, what has confidence to do with productivity? Everything. Because being busy doesn't mean being productive. So if you want to be productive, you need to tackle projects that challenge you. Because those projects 
Here's a brain tattoo. The project you're most resistant is the project that's going to give you the greatest results. So, what do you need to focus on? Are you afraid of tackling that project? Are you afraid of making that sales call? If you're scared, that's okay. But if you don't have the confidence to go outside your comfort zone to do things you've never done before, you won't innovate and you won't reach the next level. So having the confidence to do what you need to do instead of being busy being busy is so huge in today's world. And I'd say 95% of people, they're being busy being busy. They're not really doing things that matter. So this is huge. And as we go through this framework, here's my invitation to you. Score yourself on each of those productivity empires. So you say, okay, on a scale of one to 10, how's my mindset? Okay, maybe a five. And then you break it down. Okay, how's my motivation? How's my discipline? How's my focus? How's my confidence? And maybe you say, okay, my discipline is like a seven. My motivation is like a five. My focus is like a seven and my confidence is a nine. Okay, now you've got a roadmap. Now you've got a plan. Okay, you say, my motivation is weakest. So let me start there. Let me improve it. As you elevate your weakest point, every other of the productivity empires is going to elevate too. So this is huge. First, we've got your mindset. Secondly, we've got your strategy. And the metaphor I like when it comes to explaining this framework is simply this. Imagine driving your car. If your mindset is off, it doesn't matter what you do, you'll never get to where you want. But even if your mindset is right, if you don't know where you want to go, or if you don't know how you're going to get there, like how likely is it that you're going to reach your goal? It's very unlikely. The time to have the map is before you enter the woods. So you want to have a strategy. You want to create a plan for where you want to go and how you're going to get there. So the first component of your strategy is having a vision, knowing where you want to go ultimately. Not like this is everything I want in my life. This is going to change, of course. But you want to know, okay, in five years, this is where I'd like to be. In 10 years, this is where I'd like to be. And you go as far out as possible. Maybe for some that's just three years or maybe a year. But you want to go as far out as possible and be okay with not having all the answers. But you want to, based on where you're at, determine, okay, what do I really want? And then structure your life around these priorities. And one simple question I have for you is, what are five, your top five lifetime goals? These are not just work goals, but life goals. For example, if you plan on having children at some point, these should be one of your top five goals. So when you say, okay, one of my goals is to travel the world, one of my goals is to have an awesome career, one of my goals is to have two children, then you see what you need to focus on each and every day. Let's say you want to have children, but you're single. Well, you should focus on finding a partner right now. It should be a priority to you because it is essential to achieving your top three or five lifetime goals. So you want to get clear on what does really matter, not just career-wise, but life-wise, and then make time for them today. Create a plan. Create a roadmap to achieving those goals. So once you've set those goals, now it's time to deconstruct. Okay, what do I need to do in the next year to make this happen? What do I need to do in the next quarter, the next month, the next week to get closer to these goals? So it's super important to reverse engineer your goals. The second key component is prioritization. Most people, are horrible at prioritizing the things that really matter. Most people, they start their day with busy work or non-essential work. I mean, let me ask you this. In the last week, how often have you started your day looking at email or looking at messages? I mean, 
When people get to work, what they often do is they just jump into their inbox and check what everybody else wants. But now your priorities have been deprioritized and somebody else owns your daily priorities. So this is huge. You want to learn how to prioritize the things that matter most. And in a study on high performance, they found that high performers, they don't spend 100% of their time on the needle moving activities, but they spend more than 60% of their weekly time, their weekly work time, focused on the things that matter. So of course you want to optimize this, but getting it to 100% is very unrealistic, very unlikely. Because you've got people in your life that need you, you've got other things to do like email, of course you have. But you want to get at least to 60% of your weekly work time focused on the things that really matter. That's so huge. And one simple habit that I have is I block four hours in the morning for my most important work. That's where I shoot videos, that's why I write on my book. That's why I, where I create sales copy. Those are the things that matter in my business. So that's what I focus on in the first four hours of my workday. And that is a huge, tremendous habit. And during that time, I don't check social media. I don't check emails. I don't check messages. That's not time to dabble. That's time where I show up to play. So this is huge. But then, a third component is scheduling. I mean, you can have goals and you can have priorities, but if they don't show up in your calendar, they are not real and they won't happen because life happens and there are other things to do, other obligations. So the things that are really important, they need to show up in your calendar. Let's say one of your goals is to have two children, but you're single. You should block time every week to go on dates. You should block time every week to do your workouts. You should block time for the things that matter most. Your, what, like your schedule should be your secret weapon. Every elite performer knows this. Their schedule reflects their deepest priorities. So this is strategy. This is, okay, where do I want to go? Third, key productivity empire is energy. And in terms of the metaphor, this is the fuel of the car. Imagine you have a goal of 10 years, this is where I want to be. But you go at a pace that in 10 years, you'll be burned out. Imagine going on a trip and you say, I want to drive to Rome. I live in Germany. That's like a thousand kilometers or so. Okay, I want to drive to Rome, but you only have fuel for like 700 kilometers and you can't refuel. What are you going to do? You will not reach the end destination. But many people work as though they could sustain their current pace. I mean, if you're working like 14, 16 hours a day, just let me be really straight, step on your toes. This is not going to be sustainable. It's just not going to be sustainable and you will burn out before you reach your goals. Recharging, renewing is not a waste of your time. Your energy so should be one of your highest priorities. And here we need to talk about two simple components. First, your health. That's your physical health. We talk about sleep, talk about nutrition, talk about exercise. Those are the big free needle movers in this area. And this is huge. If you can optimize your health, every area of your life improves. But then secondly, we also need to talk about your well-being. That's your emotional well-being. What are your emotional states that you're often in? If you're often angry, if you're often pissed off, that's going to drain your energy and it's going to make you less effective, of course. Then we need to talk about your mental energy. And then we also need to talk about your spiritual energy. And you might think, yeah, well, that's, that hasn't anything to do with my productivity. No, it does. It has a tremendous 
effect on your productivity because how you show up determines how productive you are. Of course, you're part of your productivity equation. So that's why self-mastery is so crucial to your productivity. And that is a free part productivity master system. If you want to go way deeper, there's a link down below to join the productivity master system. But what I'd encourage you, if you went through this training and you scored yourself, I have so many videos on my channel. Just check out a few of those, okay, where you say, my motivation isn't highest. Okay, I've got videos on motivation. Where you say, okay, my energy could be better. I have videos on energy, on emotions. So check those videos out. What I want to do here in this video is give you a high level overview of the Productivity Master System. So you have a roadmap, a game plan to improving your productivity. And I hope that it served you tremendously. And if you like this video, smash like and subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And then live fully, live openly, and be the leader of your life.